Hello and welcome back to my dump safari of a YouTube channel where today we're going to be plagiarizing one of the best to ever do it. That's right, it's Dr. Ozzy. No, I'm kidding. It's Marauder. He's just put out this tune called Retribution. And I was like, yeah, I think I could probably plagiarize that in about an hour. And I fing did. I'm not saying it's easy, but <laughs> it's fing easy once you know how. And that's what we're doing today. And yeah, it's quite a good tune. I expect it's going to be played out out a lot so it's good for you to know why it bops so let's dive in so the first three bases are this i will say now i know the guns aren't exactly perfect i know that this base the main base isn't exactly perfect you are not going to be able to recreate simps exactly it's just not possible I, I mean some people have done it on the really simple simps but when we're talking about complex simps like this it's just not gonna happen give up get close just get close be happy with where you're at let's have a look at the main base over here <laughs> I think we should start off with this one because this is the first one that I tackled with. Quick note, all these presets are going to be free on my website for you to download um, for absolutely free. But I have ambitions as a sound designer and a dubstep producer. I want a house. I want a cat. You know? Uh, it's simple needs of a human being that I want. So, if you like my content, you like me, and you like my music, please consider Ooh. buying the entirety of Guns of the Unholy 4.5, where these simps will also be included, plus bonus. So... What I did here was basically FM synthesis, but I chose basic wavetables for this. Because the sound in the original tune is, you know, sustained and melodic, you want to keep things simple. No growls FMing with growls, okay? It's simple shapes. So as you can see, basic shapes have been provided. Over here, we have the bandpass notch, which is providing the sort of movement. <laughs> And that resonance is really, really high to get the tonality in the mids. And then we have LFO1 doing some shaping to the sound. So this is controlling the filter, the resonance, and the FM. <laughs> now, if I turn all the post-processing off, this is kind of what the serum sounds like. <laughs> It's a really basic sort of sound. There is a lot of distortion happening. This combs doesn't do anything. Get the fuck out. <laughs> that distortion right there on the tube... We do have a little bit of modulation, only just to make the low end crunch a little bit more. Um, and then we have an extra filter because removing some of the high frequencies allow you to distort more. Big brain, big brain moves. But that's what the original sound sounds like. Also, there's some hyperdimension in there as well. Now, if we slap this multipass on, I'm a big multipass fan. If you've seen any of my videos, you'll know that I absolutely want to make babies with it. It's so good. Um, we have a lot of phase distortion. Phase distortion here, it's like FM feedback. So, say if you've got oscillator A, it would be like doing FM from A to A. Then we have some convolving, super important. It provides all the dirt and all the massive amounts of noise that come with that sound. And it, it just gives it that shape. Listen to this. If I turn this convolver off on the art museum, it loses that reverb sort of big sound um, that you have with a convolver. So slap that on. Um, I've chosen this middle section of this reverbed uh, convolver right here. <laughs> then we have some more distortion. That shit is being driven. Really a lot of noise in this sound. Then we have OTT or multi-passes version of OTT. It's not OTT. And there's some more distortion and then some EQing. Look at that curve over there. Holy God. I had to basically try and get it as close as possible to the original sound. And there was a lot of high end. Um, we also have some mid-side EQ happening here, but we also have it here. If you see two lines like this on a slice EQ, it means um, low-end stereo signal is being taken out. And then we have some shaper over here, which is getting that sort of sound. Once I achieve this sound, I mean, then you can clone it. So what I'm going to do is clone it right here. And because LFO1 is controlling the FM and the filter, 
I was able to create different variations from this bass. Super important. A lot of my songs actually just come from one big bass and then the rest of them are clones of the other one with different variations. And that's how you're able to keep all the basses in your song sound like they're working together. There's so many songs out there where it just sounds like you're just throwing random pre presets from different packs and then combining it together. It just sounds like noise. It don't, you need to have some consistency with the sound. So in order to create that sustained one, LFO1 is basically gonna go. Beautiful, that's now sustained out. And then the second one is that sort of swung. Yeah, it's a swung sort of sound right there. And that's the filter happening. A lot of dubstep relies on massive amounts of subtractive filtering, like band pass notches. So use them more. It doesn't have to all be combs and reverb filters, guys. Come on. And then, yeah, uh, there's some slight EQing as well, taking away the low end. <laughs> right, let's get on to this gun. This was made from Guns of the Unholy 4.5. Look, I'm not going to be able to recreate the Marauder gun. I'm sorry, guys. It's covered in the main synth. I can't listen to it. And to be honest... I'd have to choose exactly the same Convolver preset, exactly the same wavetable. It's just not gonna happen, is it? So, I basically tried to make a gun that sounds just as good as the Marauder one. And the way we did that is this. Whoa. The way I made this was from Guns Neil Holy 4.5. I used the YMV 4.5 preset, which is basically just a snare going through multipass. Go and watch this video on how to make a snare into a gun. I used the same technique as I did in the last video, and that's pretty much straightforward. And then to kind of get the whole feel of the song, it's not straight 4-4. There is a slight delay. You can see that the sub bass starts on, not on beat, slightly off. I guess musicians would say a swung bass. Um, well, obviously not musicians because we make horrible, noisy tear out. Let's have a look at the post processing on that. It's going to be very similar to the other basses. This is why I love multipass. You can literally do this thing on the, on anything. Another thing about my pack is that you can put different presets with different multipass post processing. I basically chose the YMV 4.5 preset with bit different, and I really like the result. So that's what we did. Um, we also have this tone knob being shifted a little bit, and this is just frequency shifting all those sounds down in this area of the multipass spectrum. We have a phaser over here to give that flicky sort of sound. We have some mid-side EQing, OTT, um, shaping, and then that slice EQ is again doing fuck all. Uh, and then we also have the convolver doing that same sort of thing. And then we have a little bit of EQing because we don't want it to attack the low end. And then we have some more mid-side EQing. <laughs> Let's talk about this screech. So to create this synth, it's basically just sending a noise through that bandpass filter and putting the resonance all the way up. Because if I move this now... Um, obviously there's a lot of post-processing. It's going to be very similar to the other synths. Over here in multipass, phase distortion again. Can't get enough. And then the convolver, more distortion, and then I'm taming some of the stereo on that as well. I have a disperse on there for probably no reason. Uh, an OTT, and then we're doing some EQ stuff like that. Uh, and then I'm taking out some of the resonances and boosting the fuck out of it because we can. And that's basically how you get that kind of sound. Have a go at putting the resonance on a filter all the way up. That's how you get those massive tear out screams. Obviously, if you want to reverse engineer it, all of this is going to be on my website. I couldn't be asked to make the re-space Because he can't be asked to make any new ones either, so why should I bother? And then, yeah, some simple drums. I can't be asked to make the entire thing, but that's kind of how it was made. The Marauder song is going to be played everywhere. 
uh, festival season he's timed this beautifully it's a really good tune um and yeah i thought i'll just go ahead and recreate it but now you have all the sims use at your own discretion uh go to www.tarotandtempest.com to get all of these patches for free and if you love me and if you want loads more guns uh, to reverse engineer using this method please consider buying guns of the unholy 4.5 because if you do i get to buy groceries and eat food and then maybe one day I'll get a house, but, you know, in this economy, I don't know. Stay safe, keep producing, practice every day. I'll see you all in the next one. Ciao, ciao.